How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and today is not your typical shoe review video. We are here in Olympic Valley, California and it's race day. I've been out of the race game for almost two years now. So what better way to get my legs turning again than pick it up on the Western States 100 course. I am not running the full 100 marathon distance. I'm not that strong yet, but I'm gonna test out my speed a little bit on the three mile Hoka uphill challenge. I'm excited and before we get out there, before we give you the little exclusive first look, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on the gear I'm gonna be wearing. First on up, we gotta start with the shoe, the Hoka Tecton X. Now, this is a shoe that I've been wearing a little bit recently, and I don't typically wear trail shoes on a normal basis, but I've been bringing this out more and more because it's just a really, really fun shoe. The carbon plate, the foam, I think Hoka really nailed it with that kind of more responsive foam on the trail. And then are just a really nice upper fit. The Tecton's been really, really nice when I'm picking it up on the trail. So it's a no brainer to bring it out for the race today. Next on up, the gear, the shirt of choice. So we've got these RW exclusive promo shirts. These aren't actually available yet. We, we, we were just kind of testing them out. So if this looks like something you might like, write down in the comments uh, if you want to see this on the site, because I think this could be pretty cool. We got the kind of sky blue, and then we got the orange to match the tecton. I got to figure out which shirt I'm going to wear. That's going to be a game day decision, but I don't know. I don't know. It, it, this is kind of a big factor of how fast I'm going to go, because you got to look good on the starting line. And final piece of the puzzle, we got the GoPro. We're going to be documenting the whole thing. So there you have it. That's the gear rundown. Now we got to get over to the starting line and see if my legs can take this hill challenge. All right, so we just made it to the Western States 100 course. And I think like the nerves are really starting to hit me. We're, it's race day. We're about to get after it. I got a little advice uh, from Tim Tolson, Camille Heron, you know, some legends in the ultra game who have ran this course before. And the advice I got was, it's a tough course. We're going up about 1800 feet, about three and a half miles or so. And Tim told me, go off slow. It's gonna get hard that last half. You can really kind of get into oxygen debt. So I'm gonna take that advice to heart because I don't know where my fitness is right now. We're gonna see who shows up. I heard there's gonna be some pretty good competition. Maybe a top 10 finish. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. Gonna go get our race bib and uh, head to the starting line.
It was tough. Yeah? So you follow the rules? I went fast, fast. <laughs> went fast, <laughs> went <laughs> slow, <laughs> went fast. Okay. All right, uphill challenge complete. And I am here with the winner, Sam. Now, Sam, we talked a little bit before this race and we had a strategy and it looks like you executed. Maybe I fell a little bit back, but what was the plan? Honestly, yeah, we were chatting on the starting line and the plan was to see what happens. I wanted to take it out easy. I'm, I'm from Austin, zero feet of elevation and I'm not a trail runner, so wanted to ease into this and um, yeah, ideally end with some momentum and pick it up towards the end. Well, I'm right there with you. I am also not a trail runner. Kind of, this is almost my unofficial first trail race. And we talked about, as we were kind of going up, me and you were both running, we noticed some of the other trail runners were doing the strategic hiking. What was your plan there? Did you get any hiking in or did you run the whole thing? So honestly, I'm again, I'm not a trail runner. I don't know that like power hike move. And so I just kind of chugged along the whole time, but you know, Honestly, I was probably going slower than a hike, but I was like, I'll just keep this cadence. This feels like running and it worked. And the turns, they kind of like, you always thought you were gonna get to the finish line. And then there was another hill, another hill. Then we got to the final kind of like last home stretch. What was going down? What was going through your head? Were there people around you or did you kind of have the clear way? So it was nice. I had the clear way. I was looking for the finish and I was hoping I could hear people and there was nothing until I finally saw the final, the final stretch. And we had some mud kind of traversed through some puddles. And, and then once I saw the finish, it was just like all systems go. Well, it sounds like your time was up there with one of the faster times in the event history. Now, kind of, what's what's kind of your plans moving into the future? Do we, do we have a little pancake breakfast coming? Ooh, we definitely do. Honestly, mile two, that's all was getting me to the finish, was the smell of those pancakes. That's what I'm about. Perfect. Well, let's go get some food. Let's recover. And we got the real race tomorrow. So that that's where that's where the real trail runners are going to be. But this will give us a little bit of taste. Maybe we'll see in the full hundred in the next couple years. Maybe 97 more. That's what, yeah, that's not bad. <laughs>All right, mission accomplished, race finished, pancakes secured. I'm feeling a little beat, but I think this race gave me the inspiration to pick it up a little bit more this summer, maybe get a couple more races in. If you like this style of video, give us a like and let us know in the comments if you wanna see some more, because I think there might be some pretty fast races heading into the summer and I'm ready to get fit.